A Dedication to Gavin Hamilton, Esk. By Robert Burns Expect Na, Sir, in this narration, a fleechin, flutheran dedication, to ruse you up, and, ka you gweed, and, sprung o great and, noble bluid, because you're surnamed like his grace, perhaps related to the race, then when I'm teared, and say are ye, we, moni a fulsome, sinfu. Lie, set up a face, how I stop short, for fear your modesty be hurt. This may do, mon do, sir, w i, them wa mon please the great folk for a wamafu, for me. Say lie I need na bow, for, Lord be thank it, I can plow. And when I down a yoke a nag, then, Lord be thank it, I can beg. Say I shall say, and, that's nay flatteran, it's just sick poet, and sick patron. The poet, some gweed angel help him, or else, I fear some ill and scalp him, he may do weal for a, he's done yet, but only, he's no just begun yet. The patron, sir, ye mon forgy me, I win a lie, come what will owe me. On every hand it will allowed. B, he's just, nay better than he should be, I readily and freely grant, he down a see a poor man want. What's no his ain, he win a talk it. What ants he says, he win a break it. Ought he can lend he'll no refus it, till aft his gweedness is a bust, and rascals whiles that do him rang, e'en that, he does not. Mind it lang. As master, landlord, husband, father, he does not fail his part in either. But then, nay thanks to him for a, that, nay godly symptom ye can ca that, it's nothing but a milder feature, of our poor sinfu, corrupt nature. Ye'll get the best o' moral works, mang black gentus and pagan. Turks, or hunters wild on ponotaxi, wa never heard of orthodoxy. That he's the poor man's friend in need, the gentleman in word and deed, it's no throw, terror of damnation. It's just a carnal inclination. Morality, thou deadly bane, thy tens o' thousands thou hast slain. Vain is his hope, who stay and. Trust is in moral mercy, truth and justice. No, stretch a point to catch a plaque. Abuse a brother to his back. Steal throw, a winnock fray a whore but point the rake that tax the door. Be to the poor like only one stain, and hod their noses to the grunstain, ply every art o legal thieving, no matter. Stick to sound believing, learn three-mile prayers and half-mile graces, we, wheel spread loaves, and lang wry faces. Grunt up a solemn, lengthened groan, and damn up parties but your own. All warrant then, your nay deceiver, a steady, sturdy, staunch believer. O ye wa leave the springs o Calvin, for gumly. Dubs of your ain delvin, ye sons of heresy and error, ye'll some day squeal in quaking terror. When vengeance draws the sword in wrath, and in the fire throws the sheath, when ruin, with his sweeping besom, just frets, till heaven commission geese him, while o'er the harp pale Masri moans, and strikes the ever deepening tones, still louder shrieks, and heavier groans. Your pardon, sir, for this digression. I mayst forgot my dedication, but when divinity comes cross me my readers still are sure to lose me. So, sir, ye see twas nay daft vapor, but I maturely thought it proper, when of my works I did review, to dedicate them, sir, to you, because, ye need not talk it ill. I thought them something like yourself, then patronize them w-i, your favor, and your petitioner shall ever, I had amist said, ever pray, but that's a word I need not say, for pray and I hey little skill oat. I'm bath dead swear, and wretched ill oat, but I's repeat each poor man's prayer, that kens or hears about you, sir. May ne'er misfortune's gowling bark, howl throw, the dwelling o' the clerk. May ne'er his generous, honest heart, for that same generous spirit smart. May Kennedy's far-honored name lang beat his hymeneal flame, till Hamilton's, at least a dozen, are fray their nuptial labors risen. Five bonny lasses round their table, and seven bra fellows, stout and able to serve their king and country wheel, by word, or pen, or pointed steel. May health and peace, with mutual rays, shine on the evening o' his days, till his wee curly john's wire o, when ebbing life nay mare shall flow, the last, sad, mournful rites bestow. I will not wind a lang conclusion, with complimentary effusion, but whilst your wishes and endeavors are blessed with fortune's smiles and favors, I am, dear sir, with zeal most fervent, you're much indebted. Humble servant, but if, which powers above prevent, that iron-hearted Carl, want, attended in his grim advances by sad mistakes and black mischances, while hopes, and joys, and pleasures fly him, make you as poor a dog as I am, your humble servant then no more.
for who would humbly serve the poor? But by a poor man's hope in heaven, while recollection's power is given, if, in the veil of humble life, the victim sad of fortune's strife, I, throw, the tender gushing tear, should recognize my master dear, if friendless, lo, we meet together. Then sir, your hand, my friend and brother.